So they bring, you know, the third leg of the troika is Tony Ortega, who's the silent partner of Remedy and Rinder behind this production. The guy who's the advanced man gets all the leaks that she, Rinder and, her, and Remedy want to, to, to um, tease interests in the upcoming show, right? And he gets to get his obligatory appearance each season, um, which he highly values and tries to pimp into greater influence for himself, crowing about on Twitter and on his blog. He, he thinks that, you know, it's his cred card, right? <clears throat> and so they present him as this heroic journalist who's, you know, with them. He's in it for the higher purpose of helping people, right? Okay. Here's Mike Rinder on Tony Ortega. <clears throat> Four years after he left the Church of Scientology, Tony has no subjective reality on Scientology, so it is not possible for him to see any forest. He is stuck on the trees, most of which are old and dead, that wood having been chopped a hundred times already. Okay. Two years after that, and right around the time <clears throat> Rinder's hooking up with Remini, in 2013, the main difference between Tony Ortega and you, and there are many, is that you have studied and practiced the subject of Scientology and are continually searching for ways to help people become more enlightened. Tony has stumbled onto the subject of Scientology as a way of making news and money. Period. End of story. That's the guy who's there crusading knight in white iron, you know, in shining armor, on the white stallion who gets brought in to pontificate about Scientology. He has no subjective reality on it, no experiential track with it, and he's only in it to stir up controversy and to make money. <laughs>